welcome back to my channel. I am Megan if you're new here and if you're returning for another video, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I know my videos have been kind of all over the place with different things that I wanted to talk about, but again, I've reached out, I've asked so many people, so many of my followers on here on social media, what do you guys want to see? And it's been a really large combination of things, so that's why you've seen so many different combinations of things on my channel. However, um, you guys, if you've been following me for a while, obviously you know, or you can tell by my channel, I am vegan. Um, and I've been vegan for probably the last almost three years now, but in the sense of like not eating anything animal products. So I obviously don't do meat, I do not do seafood, I do not do dairy, anything that comes from an animal, I don't do that. If you guys are interested, I could definitely do like my vegan, well, it was first vegetarian slash vegan story. Um, you know, I was vegetarian for a long, 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 long time before vegan and then went into that process. So. I could definitely do a story about that, um, but I wanted to kind of do like a mini series review type of thing of different products that I come across that are vegan, not only just food, because I personally am ready to make that transition of becoming 100% vegan more so as a lifestyle um, than even I am now. Meaning, instead of like just not eating animal products, I also want to be more careful about the things that I'm buying and supporting when it comes to clothes or bags or beauty products and things like that. And again, I could do whole videos on these, like, you know, multiple different videos, but there are so many things food wise, beauty product wise, clothing wise, I mean, car wise, all this stuff that you wouldn't realize isn't vegan because you don't think about it, but it's not vegan. And the deeper you dig into this hole, it's kind of like a rabbit hole. You just keep going further and further and further. And it's just more abuse, more awful things for the environment, worse for your health and so forth. So with that being said, I am definitely taking this transition now to become a million percent vegan, um, you know, in the sense of making sure I'm buying the appropriate things that have no animal cruelty, that are vegan, that are good for the environment, and then good for myself and obviously my daughter and future kids or whatever that may look like. So I wanted to kind of just, you know, use my YouTube platform as a way to show you guys different products because I know when I was going vegan and when I was doing the research and when I started to kind of learn more about veganism, it was really, really helpful to have like-minded people who also want to and do and support the same things and they kind of helped me find different brands and products when it came to food and even now doing the research to dive deeper and take it to the next level of veganism it's really really helped to have more common people um, not that you're uncommon if you're not vegan but for a vegan it's really nice to have other people who are vegan or at least in the same environment of wanting to be healthy and doing the right things vegan wise um, to just kind of look to and have and give answers so I'm just gonna start showing you guys products and things that I come across that are vegan and give you guys reviews on them like you know if I like them if they're good if they are healthy like all the specs of new things and I actually have one today that I wanted to share because I've been using it I've tested it and I really actually do like it so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you <laughs> okay so one of the hardest things for me because I'm very um, cautious about like the, the I don't do medicine I'm very careful about what I put on my skin like lotion wise things like that but one of the hardest things has always been deodorant because some deodorant just doesn't last long enough and you can start to smell yourself it can be nasty a lot of them have caused really bad um, allergic reactions so not an attack on those brands that didn't work but I've definitely tried a few vegan or you know cruelty free um, aluminum free deodorants and none of them really worked really well until this one um, let's see if I can get closer so I absolutely love this brand this happens to be the brand that I also use for some of our hair products um, if you look really closely right there, it is cruelty free and vegan, and then it's also 100% aluminum free. If you do not know why aluminum is not good for you, that's a whole other video in itself. That's a very opinionated um, subject as well for certain reasons, such as it could be cancer causing. Um, there's a lot of things that are cancer causing and aluminum is one of those. A lot of people who have had breast cancer were, um, you know, tested and they've always had the surveys and they found that they used the deodorants and started shaving at a really, really young age and they were using deodorants that had a lot of aluminum in it. So it's not 100% scientifically, you know, attached yet, but it's definitely a good thing to try to avoid because why would you not try to avoid something that potentially could be cancer causing or just bad for your health in general there are a lot of other reasons about aluminum but that's research for yourself definitely definitely look into that uh, but i always search for things that are aluminum free when it comes to deodorant obviously it's vegan um it smells so good it actually smells really good this one smells like cotton and flowers 
Um, but the best part about this is that it's actually, it works. A lot of the brands that I've tried after a couple hours, it just like went away and I was like, I'm stinking. Okay, I'm at work and I stink and this is bad. <laughs> I can't do this. This brand works, I, it's so good. One of the things I will say with vegan and aluminum free deodorants is that it leaves a weird texture um, where like the other deodorants are more, you can't really feel it. Like if you ever itched your armpit or something, you can definitely feel it. It kind of gives off like this, I don't know how to say it, like a harder texture, but it's fine. It's not something that bothers you. It's just sometimes like when I'm in the shower, I'm like kind of scrubbing, I can feel it a little bit. Um, but that's, that's no big deal. So this one's coconut water and mimosa flower. And um, so I'm just gonna kind of read a little bit about the back of it. So this brand generally, which is Love Beauty and Planet, again, um, has a lot of different things. We've got soaps, we've got shampoos, conditioners, deodorants, um, hand soaps, lotions. They've got a really good and wide amount of cruelty-free products and I really, really love it. So as far as beauty goes, I'm just gonna kind of read from what it says. It says, embrace the island lifestyle and leave your troubles behind. This deodorant infused with coconut water protects you from odor while refreshing mimosa flower extract will lift your mood. So it's definitely one of those extracts that make you feel really good. As far as the planet goes, our goal is a carbon footprint so small, it's like we weren't even there. Hello, 100% my support, okay? We are committed to acts of love that will make you and our planet a little more beautiful every day and then they have a website. So it does have 24 hour protection. It does have 24 hour long lasting fragrance. That's another one. So not only does it protect you, but I smelled my armpits last night after I went to bed, okay? I went to work, I went to the doctor's office, we were running around, we went to the boardwalk and I still smelled the smell of the deodorant. That's really hard to do. So the mimosa flowers are actually ethically sourced as well. So even that isn't being taken advantage of, which is pretty cool. It is certified cruelty free. It is 100% vegan no aluminum, no alcohol. This is amazing. And again, when you go back to that whole aluminum chat, if you guys decide to go down that uh, road of kind of discovering why it's not so good for you, one of the reasons is that your body has to naturally sweat. That's something that we're supposed to do. Aluminum causes your sweat glands to close up, which is how it prevents you from sweating, which is great. I mean, we don't really wanna sweat through our clothes and things like that, but it's also super unhealthy for you because you're closing up your sweat glands before the sweat can get out. Aluminum free protects you from smell. I don't know, I really didn't do the whole, let's see how the armpit stain thing comes out. So maybe I'll try that and see if, <laughs> if it does, but I didn't I didn't notice anything. Um, so I don't, I don't know what that looks like, but my body is actually naturally able to let out my sweat glands, which is really important and healthy for you. The other thing is that this canister is 43% recyclable material. So just another thing that I love, if you guys haven't caught on by now, I'm a little bit of a tree hugger. Um, and so I think it's really cool. I think this whole brand, the product itself works amazing. I promise you it works really, really good. Um, I've tried a few other brands and maybe I'll do reviews on those. I'm not trying to like bash a brand because it may or may not work for you. I have really sensitive skin, so things tend to break me out a little bit easier. Um, and I've tried a few brands where I had like a full blown rash and was like itching my armpits. I looked crazy the whole day and it was because of the deodorant. This one I've used for a week and a half now. It's amazing. I love it. I highly suggest it. Yes. I love you too. So if you are already a vegan or looking to be a vegan or just looking to have generally healthier and cruelty free products as far as deodorant goes, then I really do suggest this one. I'll put it again on the screen so you can see it and I'll also like comment and leave it in the description box below. But I do suggest this deodorant. I really, really liked it. I love it. I will only use this for now on. I think it was about $7. Again, anything that's good for you is more expensive, but it's worth it. Um, so that'll be the only deodorant that I use. And that was my first product. I just wanted to review with you guys today. I thought it was really cool and I'm really excited about it. I've also got plenty of food I could review with you guys. I've got plenty of other products that I can go over with you guys. And I wanna just kind of make this a whole permanent journey because I think that every vegan is still a baby. Like so many of us are still learning, we're still transitioning and everybody's so different in their journey with it, whether it's vegetarian, pescatarian, veganism, even if you're eating meat. I mean, everybody's so different in their health journey. And so it's something that's really exciting and I just wanted to kind of document with you guys and be able to share with other people. If you're super big into veganism or just your health in general, I would love if you subscribe to my channel and kind of stay tuned to walk through this particular journey with me. If you're not, or you have questions about veganism, then absolutely leave them in the comments below because 
because I would love to answer them. I would love to know if you guys try these products and any other products that you may have. So definitely comment. Let me know what you think if you do try it. And I'm super, super excited. Thank you guys for watching. More than anything, you are so loved. You matter so deeply. I care about you. I hear you. I see you. I love you guys. And I will talk to you next time.